one different. Just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and let him move his feet a little bit. You're okay. You're okay. Yep, there you go. So I like that he just kind of stood there and asked me a question. Before he uh, got himself upset, he figured, oh, I better ask. Maybe there was something to this. So, oh, that. So he started to ask, then he started to make an assumption, and then he realized that uh, I might actually tell him what to do, which was nice, because he, if you saw the shift in his weight after he asked, his shift said, I'm going to leave the other way, because I think that's what you want, and then his shift said, oh, but wait, you might tell me what you want. Now, I didn't ask for that, so I'm going to ask him to go ahead and walk again. Ask him to go ahead and walk again. Today I'm going to ask for the canter online and see if we can't get that far with him in the saddle. Yesterday he kind of gave me an example, change directions. Yesterday he gave me kind of an example of uh, maybe having a little bit of an attitude and was seeming to pick a spot to be bad in. Again, I'm not asking for that trot. Plenty to do in a minute, so... Let's ask him to walk. Walk. Okay, because I don't want him really running around yet till that saddle's been tightened up at least one more time. It's not tight enough to go galloping around yet, bud. Not yet. Not yet. No, not yet. Okay. So, the problem that I discovered yesterday was he had a problem with the umbrella, which is why the camera is now at the umbrella, so you can kind of see that his attention goes straight there if we have the same problem today. Um, I'm also hoping to get like a better camera angle where I can get the whole arena and we're not always having to create these oval shaped or egg shaped kind of patterns. I'd rather him use the whole arena. Um, Okay, so we're going to go ahead and since to the right he had the most trouble, we're going to go ahead and ask him to canter to the left. So that way we can kind of do something where he's comfortable and then we'll go ahead and ask him where he's uncomfortable. There's a difference between having a hard time with it, like on a, out of balance or, you know, not flexible or whatever. Then I would start them on their hard side. But this isn't a hard side. This is a, um, uh, a fearful side, like a... He has worry out of that side. So quickly adding something that's faster to a direction that he's worried in is not productive. Getting him comfortable learning the cue in the direction that he's confident in uh, is productive. Then you turn him around, you get him going in the direction that he's not comfortable in, and then you try to work towards introducing the cue in that direction. Um, I have horses where they are unbalanced or they just kind of struggle but not struggle for fear reasons then I would start them in the side that they're hardest at. I am going to bring out a stick this time just because I want to encourage the cue, the, the, the uh, response to the cue fairly quickly so that we just kind of get it. So I'm going to ask him and I'm going to right away ask him to trot because he's wanted to do that now I'm going to ask him to canter. Good, I'm going to let him trot. Ask him to trot slowly. And ask him to canter. Got his adrenaline up a little bit here. 
You're right. Just keep walking. So he's asking me a lot of questions all of a sudden. I don't want him to try it. Don't want him to try it. If I keep going then, I said yes, but I still don't want you to try it. I'd like you to get up, but you don't need to try it. Good. So all those times that he turned and looked at me might to somebody else be perceived as him being bad. He's not being bad. He's asking. And I'm saying, yeah, I'd like you to keep walking. So let's see if we can't get a quieter canter out of him. Ask him to trot. He's got himself pretty ready to do something. Ah, oh, a little shake of the head there. Oh, another one. Can I ask him to canter? Good job. I don't want it to appear like I'm chasing him. Good. Good. Ask him to trot. Ask him to trot slow. Good job. Ask him to walk. Ask him to hoe. Give him a break. Now, I don't know yet if me giving him a break out there is the best thing for him. We haven't tried to work on what he needs the most from me that way. If he needs me to be with him, if he starts to get worried and think he's supposed to leave, then I'm going to go over and assure him that standing there is right. So he's got he's got a strong canter. Okay, I see that already. Um, he hasn't offered uh, like extreme speed. He seemed pretty balanced in his speed. I uh, didn't seem erratic in his speed, so that was good. Um, seemed pretty balanced in that direction. I'm gonna go ahead now that we're getting sweaty. I'm gonna go ahead and do some fly spray for us. Because the gnats decided that we smell really good when we get sweaty. job. I'm not going to punish him. Yeah, you're a good job. How's that, huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. You're okay, you're okay. Look at me, look at me. You're okay. Yeah, I'm not doing anything to be mean. I'm helping you out. I'm helping you out. Yeah. Get those ugly bugs out of your face, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, now I'm going to ask him to go to the right and see if we have that same confident. I, I would say it was a run more than a, a good canter, but see if we have a confident response to my asking him canter. Don't want him to trot. I'll have to break it when he does. And say, no, 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 no. Don't get yourself worked up yet. No, no, no. Easy. So see, this is a much, much more fearful direction. want him to be confident. He's not confident in this direction. So before he gets too upset, I'm going to ask him to trot. Now see how he's starting to tuck his head? Probably throw a buck on me in this direction, which I'm kind of hoping not. Go ahead and ask him to canter. So he's out of balance here. Ask him to slow down. Nope, 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 nope. Ask him to go this way. Nope, 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 nope. Just asking him to wait for me to tell him. Good. I'm just going to let him trot. I didn't ask for it, but I'm going to let him do it because he's a little worked up. You're all right, buddy. Easy. 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 Okay. Nope. Nope. You're all right. Don't step on yourself. Nope. Nope. Yep. 
So a whip means something to him for sure. You're all right. You're all right. Love him to settle down. Clearly I'm not gonna need the whip after all. Let him settle down. Settle down. Settle down. See if I can ask him to canter. Very out of balance this direction. Good boy. Good, uh, there. Okay, shh, shh, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, you're okay, come here. Come here, I wanna talk to you. You're okay, you didn't do anything wrong. You are okay. You're okay. My goodness. Ooh. Got some fear attached to that gate, huh? You're okay. You are okay. I'm gonna to want to tighten this anymore. I think that's probably plenty. Good boy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk him out. On his back, let him blend, kind of channel some of that fear into trusting me on his back. So that's why I'm going to get on him now instead of walk him out in hand. Because I want him to be kind of, I don't want to say I want him to be afraid, but I'm going to take advantage of him being afraid. And proving to him that even when I'm on your back, that I'm I'm okay. You know, I'm, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to make you feel uncomfortable or bad. See how jumpy he is? You're all right, buddy. Come here. So I want to prove to him my leadership is both on the ground and in the saddle. Okay, so he's thinking about nibbling my hand. I'm gonna ask him to step up. Now remember, he thinks he's supposed to park. Good, oh. Okay, now we learned this. So I'm gonna tell him over. Nope, hey. Okay, so we're getting a little personality coming out now, aren't we? There, good. Good, that's the fly spray, you knocked it down. So, he's kind of offered, which I was suspecting was gonna happen, kind of offered to taste my hand that time. And he'd been kind of telling me that's what he was getting worked up to doing, seeing if I got a, if he got a response the first time he just lit me. No, not really. So then he just kept swinging around, tapping me, see what I'm doing. Again, no parting of the lips, so no correction was necessary. Just now he gave me a little part of the lips on my hand. So he's got, I kind of knew that it was going to start to show up. So right here, see how he's coming around this side where he shouldn't? Good. So, and making sure that that's not going to evolve into anything. You're all right. You're okay. So his head's high. I'd like him to relax a little bit. There we go. Give him a little massage in his neck. Let him know that he can relax. There. Ask him to step off. First my hands, then my body. Then I'm going to show him my leg, but I'm not going to do much with him. Again, good. Oh, house down the street. It's not going to bother us, don't worry. Okay, so again, I just want him to feel confident that we're, uh, we're going to go make sure we don't see that dog coming after us, I guess. So we'll wait. He's at that house. Don't think he can get you. I don't think he can get you. I think he's pretty secure there. All 
right? So again, I'm going to put my hands forward, give him the impression I'd like to go. I'm going to put my legs on him. Now he's actually ignoring me completely, so I actually had to put my back of my heels on him. Good. Good. So we got a little fire in our feet this morning. Uh, which, of course, we, we ignited a little bit with those canter cues. So, like I said, I want him to believe that I'm here in a leadership position. You are fine. I'm not going to let him keep looking over there. There's nothing to even see. He just hears the dog. I'm start asking him to stay more towards the rail now. Start using a little more of the arena. So, very, very unfocused right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and start giving him something to do. He's going to look for reasons to kind of be spooky, I feel. Oh, yep, we just had one little, one little I'm not sure movement. So, we're going to just kind of work him through some of this stuff. Good. He's relaxed through here. He's kind of confident in this little space right here. Good. Wiggle around up here. Let him know he's doing a good job. This is all we're trying to do up here. Just relax. I think we actually get out of camera right here, but we're just going to keep on. We're not, we're not even using the whole arena, but if we get out of camera, then we might as well use the whole arena. And go ahead and ask him to go the other way. So, everything out of this eye. Remember, this is the scary side. This is where, oh my god, everything is super scary this direction. So, he's feeling my leg. He didn't kind of gooch on that. And to keep going. He's got a lot of hesitation. And I'm, I'm going to interpret them as questions. But I'm also going to say that his fear is kind of controlling the speed of his feet and the hesitations in his feet. He's really looking around. The horses are blowing dust out of their nose. That could cause us to say, oh my gosh. Go ahead and ask him to keep walking forward. Give me a little, little energy here. Cadence, because he's... You know, one minute he's hesitating. That's the brush box. We just use those brushes. Got some hesitation in his stride. I'd like it if he just kind of find a little groove here. Again, we're still looking for something to spook at over there. Pay attention. So I'm going to... I. Bumped him with my rein and tapped him with my foot there because I think it's time he starts paying attention to me. When my rein takes fill on his toes, he needs to pay attention now to what that rein feels like and why I'm putting rein or yielding away from that brush box there. So I might go ahead and ask him to pay attention to me a little bit better. Go ahead and circle around. Come near that brush box again. Bumping him on the nose to tell him, hey, I'm talking to you. A little, get a little out of that water tub scary so he's definitely got I'd like to explode going on with him I like that he contains it you know in the sense that you know he hasn't offered to explode but in the same sense like that canter I'm gonna say to the right or to the left was um fairly balanced and come on uh fairly balanced and, and fairly uh educated to the left was what i expected kind of wild child it's a water tub buddy here let's go look at it let's go look at it, it can't suddenly be the scariest thing here go look at it you're all right trust me you're all right you're all right it's a water tub no no don't tell me no you look at it yep got water in it. 
I know, I know. Trust me. You are fine. I am not here to get you in trouble. Okay? So, we need to really address this water tub. He's doing what I call the bird, where he's bopping his head up and down. Breathing real hard, giving good sniffs at it. Again, not going to let him leave. So he's going to back away, which is still not what I want. I'm going to make him go back towards it. Go forward. It's just a water tub, handsome. Drink out of if you were in that. Here. Okay, so we got a little lick and chew. Going to see if we can walk off calmly. Now we get the brush box again. Brush right chew. Step him up. Ask him to look at that. No, you're making decisions I'm not asking you to do. Ask him to look at that brush box. Maybe even use my head down cue. Let's see if he knows it from up here. Head down. Yep, head down. Good. Nope. Head down. Head down. Head down. Head down. Head down. Head down. Yep. Yeah, so see, to my advantage, I can use that head down cue to ask him to look at something on the ground that he's decided is super scary. B. Okay. Ask him to walk off. Good. Okay. I'm going to say we need another day or two of trotting before I feel like he's confident with me on his back. Um, I think the canter was a hopeful thing today. I do think that he's got some serious skittish stuff going on that, you know, he's a powerful horse, but he's like decided a water tub is super scary, the brush box is super scary, something that he's, you know, he's keeping that one ear on it. So I'm going to ask him to go the direction that he's comfortable. Now notice he's got much more, look his head went down, he's got a cadence to his stride. It's amazing how one direction is, is hard and one direction is easy. So like you'll notice I can get his head to get pretty low right now just by letting him know that, hey, we're good, we're good. I'm trying to give you a way to feel comfortable, we're good, okay? He's much more comfortable going this direction. And I noticed that when I met him. He had a hard time with things in that right eye. And, you know, it, it's not a fluke that you notice those things. You start to see him in everything that you do with the horse. Like, oh, his right eye. His right eye has a, less, a lot less experiences than his left eye does. And that's because, you know, if you think about it, the traditional horse... Uh, sport and whatever is everything's kind of done from the left side of the horse they're led from the left side they're saddled from the left side they're mounted from the left side pretty much everything's done from the left side of the horse um so for him to not have a lot of experience in the right side of his and his right eye is not that uncommon although he's quite protective in that direction so because we can get some nice calm low head in this direction I'm going to wait till I pass that water tub because I don't need him to say, oh, yes, remember I told you I wanted to spook at this. But I am going to ask him to trot in a minute. So I'm going to ask him to trot. He's got a real big trot. So remember, he wants to have an excuse over here. This is a scary spot. So there's that pop-up. That's the same pop-up we had yesterday about the umbrella. Let's see if he does it again over here. And This is going to be his tail. If he pops up every time he's near something that's... Oh, there's a little one. If he pops up every time he's near something that makes him nervous, you know, good thing to always know about him, right? Because then he'll, he tells you. So if he pops up right here... We know. There we go. That was good. No, I said that was good. It didn't say stop. But thank you. Oh, I love it. There you go. 
got a real nice gate. I'm gonna ask him to walk now. Ask him to hope. Ask him to back. Excuse me. Good. Good job. Let him stand for a minute. Digest what we just did. Because we are going to go in the direction that he doesn't want to go in. Yeah. It's a nice cool morning. He's a little warm because he got himself kind of worked up. So I'm going to go ahead and ask him to walk and go right now. You're all right. So, right immediately. Head came up immediately. Oh, now we're starting to look at that water tub again. Everything, oh my gosh, again. Oh, there's a blush brush box. Oh boy. Oh, yep. So, see, a different horse in this direction. No, there we go. That's nice. There, that's nice. That's ha happy to see that. Good. He's anticipating. I'm going to ask him to do something. A lot of shuffling of his ears. He's taking in all the sights. Everything suddenly, you know, new and something to look at. So he's got a little worried. I touched him with my leg. They'll just kind of let him know that he needs to kind of stay out on the rail there for me. I'm going to ask him to trot. He's cutting this corner on me. Busy looking at that tractor. Kind of remind him he needs to go in the direction that I'm asking him. So I'm not asking for him to go. I'm going to allow him to. It's a little wet there. We'll try to stay out of that. This is much better than yesterday. We ended on a real good note yesterday in this direction. So I was kind of hoping by doing so. Well, that's real wet there. We got to stay out of that. Uh, hoping by ending on that good note yesterday, that would kind of let him know that even in this direction, I'm here for you, bud. So we're going to cut this corner a little bit because he even knows it's wet and doesn't want to slip. Good. So, can we change direction? Good. Good. So, can we now, at a faster speed, put everything in that other eye, or is he going to find a reason to say, oh, wait a minute, I wasn't going past the stuff this past a minute ago. Good job. Keep going. Good job. I know you're out of shape, but we're going to work a little bit today. Yeah. yeah. Can we change directions up by this water tub? Good job. And I like that he almost offered to put his head down. Didn't commit to it, but he almost offered. <laughs> he bounces me right out of the saddle. He's got a big trot. Got like one of those big warm blood trots. Ask him to walk. Good. Ask him to hoe. Good. Give him a break. Yeah. You're doing a good job. Big sigh. Very happy with all of it so far. Yeah. That's my toe. Yeah. I got one on the other side too. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a little break. I touch him on the rump and have it not mean anything. I go, hi, Bob. Okay, you can ask him to walk. While his attention's on something else, I want him to pay attention to a car backing out of a driveway over there. Like, nope, you've seen cars move now. You've been here long enough to know the cars move. Good job. Now 
now, yes, I'm going to ask him to do a little walking and a little moving in this direction. I was to say, you know what, I'm probably okay with trying to canter him today. You know, he settled down a little bit more than I thought he was going to. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Certainly wouldn't be in this direction. First of all, he's not balanced in this direction whatsoever. He was cross-firing. I think he may have gotten, he got the correct lead every time, only in the front. Um, so because he was cross-firing almost every stride, I'm going to say, I mean, I think he might have gotten one balanced stride that, why, why make that harder for him? I'll work on that on the ground, getting him more balanced in that direction, getting him standing up over himself a little bit more. Uh, but if I was to canter him today, it's going to be to the left and only to the left. Because that's the only fair thing to do. Ask him to trot. Good job.